and welcome Thursday edition of the Tabuti Drive, a special one. We hang out with the one and only Super Mega in the building. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. How's that? What's the deal? You guys play really cool music. We do. Oh my gosh. Let's talk about your sneakers. So does yeah. that mean you're like super duper rich now? Uh, no. <laughs> not yet. Not not yet. Not Kanye West rich yet. Mm. How does a collaboration like this come about? Because people get confused by these things. And I mean, you're one to always clarify. Yeah, well, for me, it's 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 been a lot of hard work with myself and Reebok. Uh, it's been about two years in the making. Uh, and uh, it was something that I wanted to do from the start when I, when I started working with Reebok. For me, it's a monumental achievement for myself because this is something I always wanted to do. Yeah. You know, every rapper is like... Oh, I want to have my own sneaker. Mm. And yeah, <laughs> now, I finally, now I finally did it. So. I saw a tweet of yours saying, oh my gosh, I have my own sneakers and I'm yeah, wearing my own sneakers. It was really cool. I walked into a, a sneaker store today yeah. and I was looking at all the sneakers on the wall. I was like, oh, you don't have mine. Yeah. And I was wearing my own, which is pretty cool. What <laughs> is it about having your own sneaker for you other than it just being a sneaker you think is so monumental? Um, for me, the culture uh, that, that, that we, we're pushing in South African hip hop, mm. South African musicians, uh, to, to, to achieve something like this, to collaborate with Reebok Global mm. uh, is, a, is a really, really big deal. But for me, everything I do is not just about me. I also want other artists to now kind of have the lane uh, to, to, to have their own sneakers. Yeah. So for me, I know it's a big deal for me, but for me, it's also about... The, the, the ad- advancing the culture other than that speaking of other artists i see a whole bunch of artists are rallying behind you and are refusing to perform with burner boy <laughs> until he says sorry but you went and said you know what i'll you know swallow my pride and be the first to say but he said Dololone at this point nah, I, 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 for me it's it's not so much about burner boy but more about patriotism you mm. know i think when the whole um "Quote unquote xenophobic uh, uh, situation happened. There was a lot of untruths being spread, uh, you know, and especially about our own country. Mm. And I, I always have been one to stick up for my own people. We were actually saying country. that because it wasn't only just an attack on you; it was an attack of South Africans as yeah, a whole. Yeah, and, and, and at the end of the day, we we have to be patriotic and mm. we have to to really take care of our country because. Uh, people spread these untruths and they spread them around mm. the world. And if you look at that xenophobic situation, more South Africans died than anybody else. Yeah. Well, I mean, being a superstar like you are, a lot of people look at you and don't imagine you have actual real life emotions and really? feelings. I think so. I, I mean, think, you, I think people do. I don't think so. I, I think their reaction to your tweets, the, some of the things they say, uh-huh. uh, I take it back to, you know, the xenophobia why, why saga. Why are people always talking about my tweets? What do I tweet? You Ooh. tweet nyols, eh? Tell me what... Oh. I, you what did I come on? Tell me what I tweeted. Some of the things I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like what? What I was mean, the last thing you can I, think of that oh I tweeted? Shame. That Lately, you know, you've been on your best behavior. Oh, well, there but we go. Generally, you have a rep. No, that's an old school thing. That's like a of like three years ago. So is this a you new guys need to update your eyes. There we go. So <laughs> is, this, <laughs> is this then a deliberate move? Because people, I would say, I remember years ago saying he's such a nice guy. They'd be like, no way. Mm. You know, even I finding a need to defend who you are. Have yeah. you had a, a, a time where you felt like you needed to defend who you are in your core? No. Ever? No. Have you ever felt bad for saying things? Yes. Like what? Can't remember. Come but on, <laughs> then you don't feel too bad. I, 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 I must admit that I have done a lot of growing up over the years, especially becoming a father has really made me understand that everything that I say now has repercussions not just for myself mm. but also for somebody else I have to you know uh, look after and raise and provide for this child um, so I, I definitely watch what I say a bit more these days but I definitely <laughs> know when to say what I want to say mm. I also know how to get reactions out of people when I need to get reactions out of people I know how to stay top of mind I know how to stay relevant and I don't just do that through what I say but also what I do and the music that I make and I mean you see a lot of um, you know hip hop artists come and go some very talented some okay but it's also not is it not a balance of being able to commercialize your talent I think you've yeah. been able to do that yeah, really yeah, well yeah I, I, I have and I've been also very blessed with, with, with a great fan base mm. you know um, 
fan base is one of the most dedicated, most hardcore uh, fan bases out there. You know, there used to be a time not so long ago where people used to say, oh, AKA, if you carry on like this, yeah, 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 everyone's going to hate you. We're not going to buy your music. Yeah, and, and here we are. You know, things are still going strong. So, I've all, I, I, look, also at the core of it, I, I just make the best music. Indeed, there's no lie I'm definitely the best hip hop artist facts in Africa facts we're hanging out with the AKA that's big facts bro if you got <laughs> questions send them through 0825505151 got a message from Sam uh, from the Eastern Cape says my question for AKA his use of different South African languages uh, Zulu with Anati Afrikaans uh, with youngster CPT for example uh, uh, is that him trying to strategically appeal to a broader fan base or him being diverse and original or a bit of both I think I, I'm a fan of, of, of picking up, you know, words and, and, and languages. You know, I'm very fortunate that my friends have taught me a lot of, like, vernacular words and, like, and I can, like, put them in into, um, into my music, which, which gives me, like, a broader appeal, you know? So what subjects did you take in school? I took uh, history, geography, I took math, science, mm. all the boring stuff. Okay, all the boring stuff. So we do this thing every single day in solidarity with matriculants writing exams. Yes. Biggest fan of a specific subject. Okay. You've selected history. Geography. Geography, sorry. Yeah. I didn't do any of those. Sure. Same thing. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do a practice round. Okay, just let's to get rough. everyone warmed up. Okay, okay Question, so how does it work? So you must say your name before you answer. Okay. That's the only mm. rule. Okay. Question one. Uh. Which coastline of South Africa is affected by tropical cyclones? Eh. You it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get your name right. Tropical Vin. cyclones. It must be that side of Debe, the Indian uh, Ocean side. Oh. Yes. I'm going to say the western coast. Oh, okay. Nadia, the south coast. How you guys? We've only got two <laughs> coasts. What do you it's mean? It's the east coast. Yeah, so she's in the first yeah, place. Oh, one at a time. I'm the mistress here. Yeah. I'm the mistress here. Yeah. Durban is See, the this east is, coast. Is, look at what the teachers have to deal with. I'm the teacher here. I'm the master. <laughs> that's it, that's if, right. Did anyone say east coast? AKA he was did. correct. I was correct. Oh, okay, correct. I said the Indian Ocean side. One to AKA. Question number two. What line of latitude runs through South Africa? Yeah, Keenan. Yes, Keenan. The Tropic of... Thunder. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Did someone tell him that? No, no, no I'm no. smart, man. It's either that or ca- Tropic of Cancer. Wow. Mm. Okay. Me, I, I know do, stuff. Uh, yeah, well, you do know stuff. Because I'm smart. You're also very passionate about education because you're trying to uh, put together the mega concert. Yes, it's called the Fees Must Fall Mega Concert. Fantastic. I'm and trying to put together a big, uh, big, 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 big concert for the, for the students to help them with their debt. And of course, we're very happy for the KFC couple uh, and all the brands yeah, that came behind but them. They must chill. But w- what about something like this, where you yeah, actually? Yeah, I, I think I think that you know those brands and uh, who who are who are kind of like jumping to help all of those people kind of gave me an idea mm. that we can uh, we can actually keep that same energy and use it for a, a bigger cause. And has anyone come forward since? Yeah, we actually uh, we, it's a, it's a huge undertaking. We're going to do it in February. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to do it at the Dome. But nice. We're gonna con- we we we're going to confirm that, and we want to raise like millions. Millions and millions That's and beautiful. millions of rand for, for students. Love it. Mm. Beautiful. We were speaking off air just around, you know, fatherhood and your f- you yeah. said how it's, you know, sort of changed the person that you are. Yeah. Um, but then it was almost like Blue Ivy, whether she's aware. Do you think your daughter's aware of who her parents are? Uh, I think that she knows that we are different. I don't necessarily know if she knows like then like the you know the whole thing i just think she knows oh this is a thing that people do people stop my dad sometimes and take pictures with him because i think she understands it in that kind of context she doesn't understand exactly why Mm. you know and how does that impact your parenting because you know you go to papa chinos and you just want to chill with her but now you're also entertaining 20 other kids no i i I think i think it's cool i don't mind it comes with the territory um but it, it does get a, a little bit much, you know, especially because sometimes it's the parents. You know, sometimes old mm. people will send their kids. Mm. You know what I'm talking mm. about? Because then they know that you, yeah. you will sooner send them away, yeah. but you won't yeah. send away the child. And it's weird. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> actually unfair. That's the right yeah. word. But, but I, I think that it could, be, it could be much worse. I'm very, very grateful because um, I always think to myself, well, what if nobody cared at mm. all? Then I'd be in um, deep. A very deep. different tune to, to the man who was saying, if I'm in the middle of my burger... <laughs> Don't come well, at Well, yeah, me. that's still... That, <laughs> that, 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 there, are, there are, like, things. If I'm eating, please don't, like, bother me. If it's before 9 o'clock in the morning, don't ask me for a photo. Because? Because it's bloody early, man. But I'm never going to see AKA <laughs> ever again in my life. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> come to a concert. Come to the concert. <laughs> what is yeah. the direction for AKA, though? 
Well, well the, the next frontier Justin J Like well, what is the next the big next thing The next frontier of sound for me is um, I, I, I'm definitely finding uh, that, that I'm, I'm using more local sounds I, I, I definitely find like The beautiful thing about hip hop is Hip hop you can take anything and put it into hip hop So if you listen to like Free for instance mm. There's like elements of uh, my piano mm. in there And Kwaito in and there And you, you've done that quite a lot I've, actually I've always put like yeah. a lot of like 4-4 four, four, Kwaito in my music I've used a lot of dance like uh, music in my music Where does that come from? Because you're a cheese boy from the north of Johannesburg No, I mean I love I love um I love dance music. Mm. I really love dance music. I'm a I'm a big punk fan. I'm a big like uh, Cassius, um, uh, Duke Dumont. I love that type of stuff. That's why I love Five FM. Yeah, <laughs> we know. <laughs> <laughs> but what I meant was the next big thing for you as an artist. What's oh. the next big goal? The next big goal for me is. Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh, suspenseful music. <laughs> uh, I think the next goal for me is definitely uh, the, the, the Fees Must Fall mega concert. Mm. I really feel that I've had a, a great career and people have, have added so much to my life, especially the students and young people. Mm. And I think that my legacy has to be about more than just myself. Um, wow. And I, and I need to do Who's this guy? Where's uh, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, you know, I feel, I feel I feel I need to I need to make a big splash for yeah. other people because people have made a big splash for me. And then, of course, just musically, uh, other than what you're doing with uh, Fees Must Fall, yeah, well, everyone is aiming for that international goal. It, it is everyone? Seemingly. I'm not. So that's not a, a I'm, goal I'm for good. you? I'm good in South Africa. In South Africa, I have everything that I need. I make a lot of money. I get to live the best life I, I, I need. I get to travel. If I want to go to America, I'll just book myself a nice flight. Okay. On Emirates. Uh, someone sent us a voice note. And I'll, I, I, In fact, I want to go to Disney. I want to take my family to Disneyland next year. Okay, Emirates, hope you're listening. Disney yeah. World, sorry. Okay. So, um, <laughs> this is Alroy from Cape Town. Um, Alcy's River. Do just a huge shout out. Um, love what you're doing. Keep on doing it. Just a, a question from me. Um, what I'd like to know is what it felt like to be on Sway. Because, I mean, dude, for, for, for a South African artist to make it on Sway, it was mind-blowing, you know. It put us on the map. <laughs> I love this guy's so, energy. Uh, keep on, keep on doing it, man. Yeah, Thanks. man. Peace. That was the dopest voice note. Thank you so much for that, brother. Um, what did it feel? Well, yeah, first and foremost, thank you so much for the support. Uh, it's people like that, you know, who, who keep me rocking mm. and, and with that energy, you know. Um, to be on Sway... Yeah, it was cool, you know. I, I, I it, for me, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a privilege to be able to go overseas and represent my country. Do you feel like we over celebrate those kind of achievements? Do you think we, do you think yeah, we must calm I, down I, with I it? A bit? No, I don't. I, I don't. I don't think so. I think that it's important. Those things need to happen mm. so that you know people can be. And, and can feel like they can go conquer the world. I think it is because we yeah. live in such a we live in a time where you're open literally to the whole universe. Yeah, but I also feel like you know I I, I personally I don't really have any aspirations to like take over America. I, I think it's it's dumb personally Why? for me. Why? For me, because you can lose a lot of bread trying to like break America. And I'm like 31 years old right now. So you, I want to enjoy my time with my family. What am I doing? Like moving to America to go chase a dream at 31 years old. So is it fear then? There's enough rappers is, there. Is it fear perhaps then that's... Uh, no, it's comfortability. I'm comfortable where comfortability. I am. Comfortability. I'm happy. I'm you, happy. You don't imagine there's Look, more? Look, I've got my own Reebok sneaker. Yeah. I get to be to go make for the things that I'm doing in South Africa. Why the hell should I go to America? They are coming here. I think because the world deserves... To the world you. has already got me. I've been all over the world. Wrapping up uh, our beautiful conversation. <laughs> in as much as we disagree. Uh huh. So what's next? We look forward to um, your concert in February. Uh, people are asking how they can get involved. So have you thought about who's all performing, or is it just you? Um, I, I I have thought about people that I do want to perform. Yeah. But you know, it's 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 very much in its infancy right now. You know, I mean, there we go. We are talking about you know, oh, what's next? Go to conquer the world. Hey, man, there are students that I need to help here. Mm. People that I need to help. That is my calling to be a patriot and help my people. So I think that 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 is 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 a very very important project for me. And um, we we will we will have a sick lineup. It won't just be me. 
We look forward to it. Please let us know. We will buy tickets because we can't ask for them because <laughs> fundraiser. Uh, but please do come back um, when the concert is ready and you're ready to give it a push. Yes, yes, We're happy yes, to yes. support always. Thank, Thank you, you for uh, sparing an hour of your very, mm, very, uh, uh, what's the word? Help precious. Me. There we go. Thanks, precious. Nas. Precious time. No, I think I think I think I always uh, it it it's, it's really really cool that you guys keep inviting me back and you guys just you have a lot remember, of love for me. We do. We have a lot I more really than you can it. ever imagine. Thank you guys. We don't tell anyone though. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, AKA Five FM. Watch Five FM TV on YouTube. Five FM.